and as you can see, it is completely run down. Get in. Yes, I got him. The plants make it look so much better. The fish are gonna love these plants. Look at that. Oh, that's a big one. What the heck is that? What's going on, BFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today, we have another project here in the front yard. So if you guys remember, we used to have this fountain up and running and filled with some fish. When my African cichlids and my fish tank in my room had babies, I put the babies in here and they got big and then I put them into the other pond. But right now there is nothing in it. And as you could see, it is completely run down. Like there's not even any water up at the top few shelves. Look how dirty it is. So I had the idea today to revamp it, completely clean it up and build it back, add some water to it, and then go out and maybe try to catch some cool stuff or go buy something. There's three layers, right? So we can have some sort of fish down here, another type of fish here, and then I don't know what we're gonna put here because this is kind of shallow. I mean, not really. I'm thinking maybe a crawfish. I think that would be really cool. Like, cause crawfish don't need a ton of space. So when this is all filled with water, I think that'll be perfect for a crawfish. I don't know, I'm so excited. I think that'll be really cool. Like once it's up and going, we're gonna put some plants in it, make it look really nice. I kind of want to get like a freshwater puffer fish. I don't know, I just got freshwater puffer fish and crawfish on my mind right now. I think we can have the puffer fish right here, crawfish here, and I have no idea what's, what's gonna go in here. I actually think there's still some baby African cichlids in here that I missed because I'll come out here, I'll just see like little darts of orange and you know, it's perfect because there's like a hole right there and they can go into that cylinder. So whatever's in here is gonna be completely safe from birds or whatever. But yeah guys, that is the plan for today. I don't know, I just, I've had the idea that I wanna add a bunch of little projects around my yard. You know, we got the huge ponds. I wanted to do something new and I thought I'd save myself the trouble on building a 10 foot by 10 foot pond again. Maybe down the road, we'll do another one of those. But for now, I, I think it'd be really cool to add a bunch of little ponds around the yard. And uh, we're gonna start today with building this guy up. So the first step is gonna be cleaning it. So let's clean this thing up. So we'll set this here. Now I used to have a pump going through this and the whole thing would be like a fountain trickling water down, but I don't think I'm gonna add that this time because when that's happening, it's just ripples everywhere and you can't really see the fish. Oh, this is kind of heavy, man. Oh my God. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to lift this up. I don't think so. We're just gonna leave this one here. Now, like I said, I still think there's some baby African cichlids in here, but I don't know how I'm gonna get them out because they're definitely hiding in this little cylinder. Okay guys, so right now what I'm doing is I'm pumping water into the fountain and it's just gonna keep going and going and overflowing and, and the longer I leave it there, the more clear the water will get. Eventually all the bad stuff will be out and then only clean, good water will be in there pumping in. You guys get the point. I just keep pumping water in and then boom, it'll get all clean soon. So we're gonna finish that and then we're gonna work on the other two layers. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh, come here, no, come here, no, no, no. Where'd he go? I don't have a net. Where did he just go? There he is. Come here, dude, I'm trying to help you. Come on, there he is. Come on, dude. No. Oh, oh, got him, no. That's the baby African cichlid, he's huge now. Where'd he go? There he is, there he is. Get in. Yes, I got him. <laughs> oh, I got you, buddy. Let's get you in some clean water. Hey, buddy. Some new water for you. There you go. <laughs> oh my God, he's gotten so big. Look at that, dude. That is so cool. See, I told you guys, I'm not crazy. I did see a little orange thing flashing around. There might be more, but I think it might just be him because I was pretty sure when I got the rest out, it was all of them, so. That was a little baby from our big one in the tank and we completely hatched them out and we put them in here and they were like this freaking big and now he's that size. I think I'm gonna put him in here in the koi pond with his with his brothers and sisters. Come here, come on. Hey. Easy buddy. God, I really need a new net. There we go. You can see his brothers and sisters are down there. There's a couple of them in here, like three times his size. Oh. There he goes. There's one of his brothers right there. He is huge. 
Okay, guys, we finally got the fountain all cleaned up, all three layers. Here we go. Here's the bottom layer. Look how clear it is. That's a game changer right there. That is perfect. And you see the algae on the sides. You might think that's bad, but that's actually really good. Um, since this fountain isn't going to have a filtration system or a pump or anything, it's really good that we have, you know, algae growing. It's nice and uh, beneficial for the fish. So that's a good sign. Then we got the second layer and then the third layer. So I think up here we might have to put like a little crawfish just because it's not like a huge area. But I think a little crawfish would do great in here. But the next step is we need to go down to the creek and find some cool plants, some aquatic plants to put in here. We get, we get to liven this up. So we're going to go find some plants to put in here and then we will be ready to put fish in. All right, let's find us some good plants. We can grab these. There we go. Nice. We got a whole bucket full of that. Now we're going to wash them off, get them all clean. Okay guys, finally, the fountain is finished. It is complete. It's definitely worth it. It looks so much better now. The top layer right here, second layer, and the third layer. The plants make it look so much better. The fish are gonna love these plants. Later today, we're gonna go down to the canal, try to get ourselves a crawfish to start things off. We'll see you down at the creek. Hopefully we can get ourselves a crawfish to start off the fountain pond. It's the next day and I got some bad news. So the canal that we catch the crawfish and all the other cool stuff usually, I went there yesterday and there was literally no fish, no nothing. And they were like doing something to the canal. They were like digging it out. I don't know what's going on there yet. I might make a video there soon, see what's going on, but it looks like they're like dredging it or something weird. And they got rid of all the plants and, and uh, rocks and everything. It's really weird, but I thought we'd come here to the creek behind my house and try to catch some fish here. I've never caught crawfish here, so don't think we'll get any of those today. We'll do that another day, but for now, we're gonna, we're gonna try and get some fish to put into the fountain. So let's start netting around, see if we can catch something cool. Cool, right here. Let's see, where was he? Usually there's a lot of shrimp in these weeds, so we might get some shrimp too. Oh, there he is, ooh! We've caught this in the Everglades before though. Look at that. Oh, you can't tell, but he's got, like, gold flakes on him. That's really cool. All right, we're going to put him in the bucket. Oh, we got a shrimp. Oh, he's flopping around. We got two shrimp. Shrimp. We also got some snails, which I'm going to put in the bucket, too. They'd be cool to have in the pond. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh. Yo, check this guy out. Or girl. She's actually pregnant. I don't want to lose her. Pregnant shrimp right there going in the bucket. I think that one's pregnant as well. Tons more snails. Can't hurt to have these guys. Oh, oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Let's go. We got a Dalmatian molly. Look at this guy. Is that two? Oh no, it's a mosquito fish. Look at that. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, dude, I love these fish. All right, that is perfect for the fountain. What is that? Yo. What is that? It looks like a stick, but it's moving. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, dude, I'm putting him in the bucket. That'll be so cool. What the heck is that? Oh, my God. All right, everything else, all the shrimp, get in there. That was really good. We, could, we just caught some really cool fish. We got a Dalmatian molly. We have a ton of freaking shrimp. Killfish, I think it's called, maybe? I don't know. You guys saw it. The first fish we caught, he's right there. And then we got this, like, stick bug looking thing. I kind of want to touch it, but I kind of don't because he's got, like... It looks like he's got, like, fangs on, on the end of his claws there. This is actually cool. I might end up, for the bottom side, just putting whatever I catch from here in there because we got the plants from here. We got all these fish from here, so it might just be like a natural ecosystem type pond on the bottom half. Look at this. This is kind of crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Look how cool that is. I need you guys to identify this for me in the comments. I have no idea what that is. We're going to put him right there. There he goes. 
All right, next, let's get the Dalmatian Molly. There you go, buddy. Into the fountain pond. Let's get some snails. There they go. Big old shrimp. This one's pregnant. We're gonna have some shrimp babies. Oh, there's the Molly. The Molly, there he goes, into the cave. <laughs> I knew it. All right, we got a pregnant shrimp here. Oh, he looks sick, dude. <laughs> Whatever this thing is. Oh, gotcha. This guy's pretty cool. Cool colors on him. There you go, buddy. Oh, he's fast. And the rest we can slowly dump in on the side here. It'll take too long to release everyone by hand. There it is, guys. Our three layered fountain pond is complete and we got new fish in it. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's video. I need you guys to go down to the comments and comment some suggestions on what to put up here, here, and even down here. It doesn't matter if I have to go buy it, catch it, whatever. Whatever gets the most likes, I will go do it. So uh, yeah, hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.